Good afternoon, peoples. Uh, thank you for joining us on this fine Sunday afternoon. It's actually Saturday, as you all know. But uh, we're going to do some grilling tonight so we can film it for you so you can watch it today. Does that make sense? Yeah, anyway. We are getting ready for some grilling. What I have here is uh, my charcoal chimney, all full of some fresh charcoals on the bottom and just a few of the old ones that we can go ahead and just use up. What we need to do is we need to take two newspapers, all wadded up, shove them into the bottom down here, and then we light them up. After about 10, 15 minutes, you have some really hot charcoals and you're ready to go. In the meantime, we're gonna go inside. We're gonna get the rub on our chicken. All right, let's do that. Okay, so I'm going to make the pumpkin muffins, which is two ingredients. Cake mix, pumpkin. I'm making double than what the recipe says because I have to feed quite a bit of people. So it should be one 15 ounce can, so that'd be the small one, but since I'm doing double, I'm doing the 29. And then I'm gonna add a little more. And then I got the two cake mixes. I'm sure any kind of cake mix will do. Put all of it in there. Okay, so I'm gonna add a teaspoon of cinnamon, an eighth of a teaspoon of cloves, and a quarter of a teaspoon of ginger. Okay, and then we're gonna mix them up. Alrighty, so we are inside. I have some squash and zucchini spears all cut up. We're gonna season those up in just a moment. I have my chicken that is already seasoned up because I seasoned it a moment ago in front of the camera while it was not on. Um, I have some wood chips and they are soaking so we can just kiss the chicken and the uh, zucchini with a little bit of smoke. Not want to smoke it, but while we're grilling, we'll just throw a little bit of those, sprinkle them onto the coals. What I'm basically going to do though is show you um, how I do this rub and how I put it together. Basically we start out with mustard to rub onto it. Then we do some onions and some garlic powder, black pepper, salt, paprika, chili powder, and some sage. Now I'm just going to show you how I put the rub together with the uh, spices for the zucchini and squash, but obviously I'm not going to use all that on zucchini and squash, but just to show you what I did, I used a little coffee filter here, and we're going to put a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt, some garlic, plenty of garlic, because garlic is delicious, Use a little bit of paprika, and that's all we're going to do for the spears, but for the rest, for the chicken, obviously I used all those other ones, but I just wanted to show you the little technique with the uh, coffee filter, which you shake now, gets it all mixed up, and there you go, you have some delicious seasoning, we're basically just going to sprinkle that on top. And there you have it. I'm going to wash my hands and then we'll go head out to the grill with some delicious stuff and see if our charcoals are ready to go. Okay, so there they are, all full. Now I'm going to put them in the oven, and like I said, at 350 and I'm gonna go for about 20 25 minutes. Okay, folks, so we are back out at the grill. We are checking on our coals. I don't know if you can see it, but what we want to see is actual flames rising up out of there because that means we got some really good heat in there. And now our coals are ready to go. So there we go. We're gonna let that heat up our grate so we can clean it up. In the meanwhile, we have our chicken ready to go. We got some wood chips and we have our spears. As soon as we have our grill all heated up, we will be ready to rock. And one of the most important things I think I almost forgot to mention in our intro is your chair. You gotta have a nice comfy chair to sit on while you wait for certain things like your coals to go and for your chicken to cook. Cause you don't wanna leave your grill. You always wanna stay right by it. So as you can see, our grill has actually gone up over 300 degrees. I think that's some pretty good heat and I think it probably worked that grate pretty good so we can clean it off. And we're actually gonna throw some of our wood chips on here that we talked about. We got some good smoke. We're gonna take our chicken. I'm just gonna lay that right on there. You get that nice sizzle, you hear that? So that's what you want. You wanna make sure you get a nice sizzle going. Otherwise your grill's probably not hot enough. And then we go ahead and place the spears. And we will check on them in just a few minutes so we can flip the chicken and flip all the spears. Alrighty, it's been a few minutes, maybe about five or six. And we'll go ahead and 
lift up our grill and see how we're doing. That smells awesome. I wish you guys could be here to actually smell this. Look at that. Go ahead and flip these bad boys over. The zucchini may be done a little earlier than your chicken, but that is not a problem. What we have over here, let me get this closed, is some foil. And you're going to wrap them up so everything can stay nice and hot. Not only that, but the chicken is going to continue to cook as you wrap it up and get the table ready inside. Go ahead and get our zucchini out of there. Okay, so I just pulled them out of the oven and they look very cute and it wasn't 20 to 25 minutes it was about 15 minutes i forgot i'm doing mini muffins not regular size Alrighty, folks so i believe my chicken is done we're gonna open this up and we're gonna check on it so i think our chicken is done hopefully it's not overdone we're gonna bring it in we're gonna chop into it and see how we did Alrighty, folks the wife is still hard at work Making some delicious muffins. How are they? Did you get to try one? I haven't tried one oh, yet. Oh, I think we should try one. She's gonna add some delicious powdered sugar and they're gonna look freaking awesome. But in the meantime, we are gonna try one because we just, we want to so bad. So I'm gonna feed the wifey here first. Very pumpkin-y. Pumpkin-y? That's some Thanksgiving stuff right there. <laughs> yeah. Very light too. Mm-hmm. We're not trying to tell you they're healthy by any means. Now, we are going to cut into our chicken. It has been resting as you want to do with any meat that you have cooked because you want to let those juices redistribute uh, back into the meat so that way you don't cut it open and it just bleeds all the juicy deliciousness all over the place. So let's go ahead and cut into this bad boy and see how we did. That looks awesome. Still nice and juicy. Cooked straight through, but it's also not dried out. Got a nice grill char on the outside. So what we need to do now is try it, just like we tried the muffins. Oh, it's good. Is that a good, good flavor? Yeah. Oh, she sounded surprised as so though maybe I couldn't pull no, it off. Shut up. So there you have it. We uh, grilled a healthy dinner with some zucchini. Oh, look at that, zucchini and squash. <laughs> awesome seasoning on the zucchini and squash as well. Makes for a flavorful healthy meal right there you're grilling all your fats drop down in the coals like we said and whatever you're going to grill on the grill is going to be that much better for you paula made her muffins i hope you guys enjoyed all the fun i can't wait to see what they look like with powdered sugar on maybe we'll show you that before we say goodbye gabriel doesn't want me to film them for some reason he or him eat them. but yes we thank you for joining us we are going to clean up the ridiculous mess that we made <laughs> and we will see you guys on monday check you later check you later check you later Ha <laughs>